Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. So guys, now let us understand our logic. We have to accept the R cross C matrix as the input and X and Y which occurs only once at any of the diagonals in the matrix. Now the diagonals would be top left to bottom right or bottom left to top right. Now if, if it satisfies if we get x and y in the matrix we have to print yes else no now we'll consider an example where the r cross c matrix would be uh, 4 3 and the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12. Now the x and y are 7 and 3. So now we will represent the index of each element in the matrix that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2. So yeah, so what is the index value for 7, our x? It is present in the first column and in the third row. So 2, 0 is our index. Now what is our index for the y? That is 3. It is present in the first row, third column. So 0, 2. Now our condition is the absolute difference between the x row and the y row and the x column and the y column would be same. So the absolute of x row and y throw then will be equal to x absolute of x column and y column now we are using this absolute because it will convert the negative values to positive values now what is our x throw x throw index that is absolute of x throw index is 2 and y throw is 0 equal to the absolute of x column is 0 minus y column is 2 so we are getting absolute of 2 and absolute of minus 2 which is the same that is 2 and 2 right so we will print yes print yes Now let us consider another example where our x and y would be 1, 5. Now the index for 1 is it is present in the first row and the first column that is 0, 0 and the index for 5 is 
product is present in the second row second column one one so the absolute difference of zero minus one and the absolute difference of x column and y column that is zero and one then absolute of one and one yeah so yes we'll print yes because both are same next example if x and y are 4 and 9 fourth in the index for 4 is 1 0 the index for 9 is 2 2 now the absolute difference between the x row difference between the x row and the y row is 1 minus 2 and the absolute difference between the x column and the y column is 0 minus 2 now minus 1 and then here the difference is minus 2 so we clearly see that these minus 1 and minus 2 are not equal so we will print no so guys now we will implement our program we have to get the number of rows and columns using this map function put off dot split off then we have to get the matrix using the list function map in comma input of dot split off for row in range r now we have to get the input for x and y x comma y equal to we are using the same map function now we have to initialize the x row y row x column and the y column y column equal to 0 0 0 and now we are going to check our conditions using loops for row in range r for column in range c if matrix of row column equal to equal to ex then we have to update the x row <coughs> the x row equal to row and the x column equal to column else sorry elif matrix row column equal to equal to y now the y row should be update, updated to the row and the white column should be updated to column if the absolute difference of the x row and the white row is equal to equal to absolute difference of white row and the sorry x column and the white column then we have to print yes else no so guys we are done thanks for watching see you in next video